Did waking up at 5 a.m. every day to write actually help my writing? Well, I took this challenge with two of my friends and all three of us vlogged our experience. So you're about to find out. But before I get into the vlog, basically how this all came about is that my friends Bethany and Mandy and I were all talking about how we wanted to put our writing first more. We wanted to get more progress and life was just getting in the way, business was getting in the way, and Bethany was like, what if we did a 5 a.m. writer challenge? I don't know about Mandy, but I was like, Ooh, I don't know if I wanna do this because she also was like, let's vlog it. And I was like, ugh. Ugh, you do not want to see me at 5 a.m., but you will. It's coming up. I had also heard about 5 a.m. Writers Club and how people would get up at 5 a.m., especially if they had like a day job or they had family and, and it was hard to get writing done later in the day. And me as a morning person, it sounded like a good idea, but it was also like, it's 5 a.m. It's a little too early, even, even for somebody like me. But I did really like the idea of having accountability, doing this with two of my friends, knowing that we all would be suffering. And especially because I am in the final stages of editing my Y fantasy novel on Wings of Ash and Dust. And edits have just been something I've been slogging through. I was like, I need the extra accountability. I need to make sure my, in my case, editing comes first if I ever wanna get this book published. So here's my experience waking up at 5 a.m. for five days in a row. And just to warn you, because you will see a Christmas tree, this was filmed in December and now it's January. And if you wanna find out overall, did I think this was worth it? Do I recommend it? And will I keep doing it going forward? Definitely stay until the end. Plus, please remember that even if this does work for me, not every tactic works for everyone. So that's why I also love that there's two other vlogs that you can go watch, two other experiences. So after this video, definitely make sure to go check out Bethany and Mandy's video, which I will link down below. All right. You guys ready? Here we go. glory at 5 15 in the morning i got up at like 4 50 or something and i'm doing okay and i just showed you a little bit of uh, my setup my morning routine i'm probably not going to do that every morning because it'll just slow the writing but there you go i'm really excited to get into things ben is still sleeping and he probably will be for a while so i'm gonna cut talk kind of quiet. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm usually in my office, um, which I'll probably show you later in the week, but we just put the tree up the other day and I'm just like, I need to be near it, especially when it's dark. It's just so pretty and uh, it really sets the mood. I've got um, this little side table here. That's why you see uh, the instant pot from my husband. He likes to cook a lot. I've got my setup with this little table, a scrivener open, some tea with uh, one of my one of my new mugs because the book is is coming out and so I was excited to release some merch to help fund the publication because indie authors yes they're awesome but we need to pay for everything and then of course I've got the bullet journal and the checklist of all the chapters I need to do and today I am working on chapter two of episode two I'm editing with my developmental editor's notes and um yeah developmental editing it's like a domino effect you change one thing you gotta change a million other things so hopefully my brain is awake enough uh we're gonna get going and um wish me luck <music> Hey guys.
guys okay so it's definitely after seven o'clock and i just realized i never updated you guys so how did it go this morning i edited slash rewrote for about two hours and it was really really good i had a lot of energy once i got going and i definitely think my brain like works the best in the morning so i think this is a win so far it's still going slow because with developmental edits i'm just realizing that okay i made some progress here but now i have to go rewrite this or reorder that it's a process but i'm really um lucky because i have a developmental editor who is just amazing she read through everything gave me developmental notes but now she is willing to have me basically resend everything chapter by chapter as I do it and she's giving me further kind of inline notes and troubleshooting with me and she's just the kind of editor that sort of in it for the long haul and she's just like I want to be in the process with you and make sure that you know the changes that you make you know like you have help implementing them and um, don't get stuck and are able to finish and be proud of what you create and I'm like oh you're amazing so huge shout out to my editor but yeah I'm actually pretty excited to wake up at 5 a.m again tomorrow um, I think it set up my day really well once Ben got up we got to have breakfast and I just didn't feel like I had to like rush off to go do other work because I had already got a bunch of editing done in the morning so that was also a win and then later in the day I ran a sprint on YouTube here so that was really cool we're doing fairy themed sprints because there's fairies in the book and everybody picks a clan that they want to join and then they report their words or their page numbers and I put them into a kind of point tracker and figure out which clan wins each round so that's been really fun to implement and yeah I didn't mean for this to be too long just a quick check-in so I'm going to stop it here and the next time you'll see me it'll be day two and hopefully it will go as well if not better than today so yeah Wish me luck. Good morning. It's day two and uh, definitely more tired. I didn't get to sleep at the same time I did the other night, um, which was a better time. So if you're doing this, I recommend getting to bed earlier and also what I liked about what I did yesterday is I pre-set up most things um, in my writing spot the night before and this morning I sort of was like fumbling in the dark trying to find everything oh and I was up a little later last night because I finished another scene and actually my wonderful husband Ben just saw I was struggling and he was like let me read it <laughs> let's talk about it and he was super helpful so it's a good reason why I was up but yeah waking up at five is hard today. I have one more scene to finish for chapter two and then maybe later today I'll actually be able to tackle chapter three. So let's see what we can do. I'm covering this so you guys don't get spoilers but um, one tip I wanted to say is if you are trying to edit one thing I've been finding really helpful that I haven't been doing before is actually setting up a totally new document in one screen and then having the old document of the chapter in this screen on Scrivener and then basically either copying and pasting parts that I'm going to keep as I write or completely rewriting as I read and go through the chapter and that's just really helping me because I think sometimes when I'm looking at the old chapter I'm like oh but I don't want to like change it and what if I change it and I hate it this way it's like it's a totally different document and I know I could just do that by like duplicating the document and like editing it in there but for some reason it's really helping me to like start with this blank page and if I have to kind of just retype that's just a little tip that I'm finding helpful in case you're editing too p.s. I just found it's a really funny if you can see it that the word exhaustion is just really sticking out to me right now Welcome to day three. We're in my office this morning because I felt like I needed a little bit of a change of scenery and I honestly thought that waking up at five this morning would be easier by now and it's not easier. That being said, look 
at what chapter I'm at for episode one. Ooh! I'm gonna be honest, I didn't get all the way there yesterday morning. I was so tired, so I worked for about an hour when I woke up, and then I took a nap because I was just exhausted. But I think it got me going for the rest of the day, and later I was like, you know what, I've been stuck on chapter two for a while. I was like, okay, I'm gonna set 15 minute uh, sprints and I'm gonna work on a different chapter each sprint even if I don't finish editing uh, In that time, I'm just gonna the alarm's gonna go off and I'm gonna move on the learning curve of editing and trying different things So hopefully some of these tips that I'm uh, Experiencing along the way might help you but it definitely worked because the later scenes definitely don't need as much edits as the first two. My plan today is to edit episode seven and eight. I've also got some items written in my notebook here, uh, brainstorming items that I realized I was trying to edit in the moment, but just need a little bit more brainstorming. So I'm going to brainstorm and then I'm going to edit and hopefully by this afternoon I can get this thing in shape enough to send the whole episode to my editor. Hey guess what? One, she wears real clothes. It does happen. She doesn't look like a slob all the time. And number two, I just sent all eight chapters off back to my editor. <laughs> That is a miracle because because literally it did not happen all nano and part of that is I was doing a separate launch that I probably shouldn't have been doing during nano but I did it and I'm super excited. So how did this happen? Well this morning while I was writing at 5 a.m. I did get through chapters 7 and 8 but there were still some scenes that need some work and I'm just like oh maybe I'll send them maybe I won't and so I took a break with Ben got breakfast got dressed uh, cleaned the living room and then I went to go look at my email and I'm getting Google Doc updates that my editor is in our shared Google Doc giving me some editing notes and I'm just like ah, I want to make the best use of her time because I know she has other clients so that super motivated me to just take everything I had and put comments in the places that I needed to clarify things or ask for help and I just got the rest to her and sent it off in the doc and right now you're seeing nothing but there are words there I just want to make sure oh you can't read that okay that's good uh, I just want to make sure I have no spoilers but I have all eight chapters sent off to her and I'm feeling really good because it's only 11.35 and I got the whole episode done like two days earlier than I thought. So do I think that writing at 5 a.m. helped me? Um, I definitely think it did because normally I would have had breakfast and I would have been just sitting down to do editing when I saw her in the dock. And because I had gotten through the last couple chapters, I was like, I'm gonna send it right now. So yeah, I'm pretty excited and I think I'm gonna take a little break and maybe read a book or something and reward myself. Later today, uh, I have two writer mastermind groups that I'm a part of that we meet on Wednesdays. It'll just be good to kind of celebrate with my friends and and um, yeah, and then decide how I'm gonna get ahead maybe in the next couple days um, so I can get even more editing done sooner than I wanted. So, so far, 5 a.m. is hard, hard as heck, but um, it's helping, especially because I have this goal of trying to get this book published as soon as possible. So, yay! <music> Hey guys, obviously it's a lot later in the day, but this morning went okay. I was still really tired and honestly, I did a lot yesterday. So I was trying to give myself some grace, but getting up early did ensure that I put the writing first, which is the whole purpose of this experiment. And then I was able to get some other things done, like plan some YouTube content and answer emails and do a bunch of other things that I've been putting off because the editing has been so important without feeling guilty because I made the book the priority. But what I'm gonna do after I get up at 5 a am for day number five tomorrow is to sort of try to do reflection and like a recap of how this week went and answer the questions did I think this was worth it do I recommend it will I keep doing it and if not did this change anything so if you want to hear what I think about all that it's coming up
Okay, well, that was a whirlwind. Anybody else tired? Let's start with was it worth it? And I would definitely say it was worth trying. I definitely put writing first. You guys saw me get a whole episode done earlier than I thought I would, which just blows my mind. I was definitely focused. Sometimes I can get really distracted by like social media or just things happening, but like so much of the world is quiet and a lot of my followers are awake when I'm awake. So I didn't feel like I was majorly missing out on things by not being online. And overall the day felt longer, but in a good way for the most part, because I felt like there was more to the day. Like I would look up and it would be like 11 a.m. or noon and I would be like, really, that's it? Like I've gotten so much done today and there's so much of the day left. And because of this, I also felt less stressed and less rushed throughout the day. And by the time my husband Ben came home, I really felt like I had gotten a lot accomplished. There were definitely some pretty significant cons though. As you guys saw, I was very tired and it didn't get better as the day went on. I was exhausted by the end of the day. And I also tried to go to bed early so that I wouldn't be so tired in the morning, but that wasn't always super successful. And while the day getting longer was sometimes a good thing, it also was sometimes a bad thing where it just like felt I don't know, it just threw me off. And it also wasn't super consistently helpful where like some mornings like my brain was like firing and it was like so good and I was on a roll and other mornings I would wake up just dead tired and my brain really wasn't working and then I ended up just like going to take a nap. So do I recommend other people trying this? I would definitely say it's worth trying, especially if you have other obligations throughout the day that keep you from writing in general and you wanna start building a habit by writing at the same time every day. It might also be really helpful to try if you feel like you're in a writing rut and later in the day, maybe you have less energy. Whereas if, if you tried earlier in the day, you might find out that early in the morning is actually like a genius zone for you where your brain is actually more creative and works a whole lot better. But if you are gonna try this, I do recommend a few things. First of all, I'd give it at least a week or maybe more just so your body can get used to it. I'd also consider your family members and make sure that you communicate with them about the changes that you might be doing, like trying to go to bed early. And with that being said, I would definitely check your schedule that week that you wanna try it and really look at it and be like, do I have other obligations that are going to keep me from being able to go to bed at a good time so I can not wake up as a zombie. Also, I would highly suggest trying this out with friends who want to do it at the same time because I honestly don't know that I would have gotten through the entire week without having the accountability of Bethany and Mandy. So thanks ladies, this was a lot of fun and hard. It, it was also really hard. <laughs> So then the question is, will I continue doing it? And because I'm filming this outro many weeks after, I'm also gonna share, have I continued doing this? Initially, after finishing the challenge, my goal was to keep writing first, first thing in the day, but to wake up just a little bit earlier than I normally do, not at 5 a.m., but maybe like six or 5.45. Maybe I would just keep this to certain days of the week. I was also thinking that whenever I was on deadline and needed some extra time, I could just pull out this idea of doing 5 a.m. writing for like a week or so because it did really help me prioritize my writing and make sure that I got it done. If I had to do it again, I also don't know if I would have vlogged it because I think that that actually took away time from the actual editing and writing too. But on the flip side, it's also really cool to have this whole journey chronicled and it was really helpful to have the accountability of my friends. Okay, so like I said, I'm filming this outro many weeks after the vlog and I'm just gonna come clean and say I have not been waking up at 5 a.m. since it was definitely really hard but there have been a few days that I've woken up earlier at like six something a little more reasonable for me and those days have been really good or just waking up at my normal time and then making sure that I did writing before I did anything else. So after all this, what do you think? Do you think you'll try the 5 a.m. writer challenge? Please let me know if you do or if that's something you normally do, let me know that in the comments. And if you enjoyed this vlog, definitely give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And let me know in the comments, do you wanna see more vlogs like this, like behind the scenes and day in the life? Also, definitely don't forget to watch Bethany and Mandy's vlogs that are linked down below. And if you're looking for more writerly videos, check out one of these two and I'll see you there.